But I want to move on, talk right back to you. There are great stories coming out of UNC this week. Talk to us about it. Uh, yes, the class of 22 has graduated, and the chancellor at Carolina described them as those who persevered. Uh, if you think about how the country uh, and the world have changed since the fall of uh, 2018, the uncertainty of where we're headed, term perseverance, uh, the ability to weather storms, uh, overcome the challenges might be the most, most uh, valuable lessons for those graduates. The chancellor also noted that uh, 788 graduates were first generation college students. And when you look at system wide, the UNC system, uh, uh, all the campuses right. around the state, last year 17 percent or some 8,000 uh, students were first generation graduates. And I think that really speaks to the importance of having a society and building a society with opportunities for all, um, where you succeed and your ability to move up is based, based on your merit and having an educational system that, that will do that. And I think it's a great story for, for the U.S., certainly for North, uh, a tremendous strength for North Carolina. Talk to us about the pharmacy grant. Yes, the READY program, that's the Rapidly Emerging Antiviral Drug Development Initiative. General Assembly put Glad in... you had to say. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the General Assembly put in $18 million. They've leveraged that now with a $65 million federal grant, and that builds on our ability, both at Chapel Hill, Duke, and other other research facilities around the state to move forward with a whole new class of antiviral drugs okay. to deal with pandemics in the future.